is Lucy and today I'm here to do my September TBR. This month I'm calling Arc September because I'm going to be trying to read the majority of the arcs that I have. Arc August is like a thing that people did, like that was like an actual event. Arc September I just made up because I was taking part in the new readathon during August. None of the arcs really fit into that readathon. So yeah, so September is going to be taken up by ARCs. I have been accumulating ARCs for quite a while. Most of these ARCs I did get from NetGalley. One of them is an ARC from Edelweiss, which I'll mention, and then the physical ARCs I got from Bookish First, which is a website that I've mentioned a little bit on this channel. But I just think it's a really cool website because I've never gotten physical ARCs before I found this website. September is my birthday month. Uh, if you don't already know, I am born on the lovely day of September 20th, 1996. I will be turning 22. I just wanted to throw that out there, so yeah. And also, the last thing I will mention before I get into the book, I am putting out a channel survey. A while ago, I feel like it was like last year or something, or like even maybe a year and a half ago, a bunch of channels are putting out like channel surveys to like find out what their audience wants from their channel. I have jumped on the bandwagon quite late, but I've just been feeling like I re just really want to know what you guys want to see from me. So in the description box down below, there is a Google form that you can fill out and tell me like some stuff you want to see from me. There are a bunch of questions. Most of them are check boxes because I know that all the like writing out questions can be intimidating or at least maybe they are for me i don't know and they're all optional questions as well because maybe you only want to say one thing i don't know but please 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 if you have any time to spare or just you want to help me out please fill out the form that'd be so super helpful i would really appreciate it and now we can get into the books that I will be reading in September. So I will talk about the September releases first. First we have is Sadie by Courtney Summers, which I have already read, so I'm already doing a good job. It came out on September 4th, so it's out already, it's out in the world. Basically we follow Sadie, who is a teenager who runs away from home after her younger sister dies. And simultaneously we're following a guy who runs like a podcast slash radio show and he's trying to figure out what happened to Sadie after she's run away and like he's conducting interviews and all this stuff while we're simultaneously seeing like what Sadie's actually doing. 500 Words or Less by Julia Del Rosario. This comes out on September 25th so it's not out yet. Uh, go me. I'm pretty sure it's about a girl who like gets caught cheating on her boyfriend and so her reputation is kind of in the dumpster I guess and to like bring it back or something she writes college essays for like the other kids in her class and it's also told in like verse and the last September release I have is Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Har Hardcastle I want to say Evelyn Hugo because that's the other book that's going on I got this arc from Bookish First like I mentioned this comes out on September 18th, which I'm pretty sure this American edition comes out on the 18th because I think it's out already, at least in the UK, maybe. It's out somewhere, definitely, because I've seen other people reading it. We follow a character named Aiden Bishop who has to relive the same day where Evelyn Hardcastle dies over and over until he finds out how she died, who killed her, and all this stuff. It seems like that kind of like murder mystery where like you're on like the train and like you have to like figure it out together and like one person like a whodunit like train thing. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but like those are a thing, okay? Um, sounds like that. It looks like fun. A lot of people have really loved this book, so I jumped at the chance to get it and I'm gonna read it. It seems pretty thick. It is a thick book. Now we're done with September releases. Everything else that I'm about to talk about has already been released. Rise of the Superheroes by David Tosh. This is a book where like basically David Tosh kind of like goes through like the advent of superhero comics and stuff and like he talks about like the Silver Age basically like when he was a kid and he includes like little anecdotes of like what he was reading like during the time like when these characters came out and, like what was going on in the world. It's actually pretty cool. I thought it might be a little dry but it's mostly pictures anyway and it includes like a bunch of like pictures of comics that were coming out during like the time periods he's talking about and things like that so it's a pretty cool book 
The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Goo. Maureen Goo wrote A Thing Called Love, A Little Thing Called Love, whatever that book is that a lot of people really liked. She wrote, like her debut was last year and a lot of people liked it, so I requested their second book from that gallery to see what all the hype is about. I've heard good things about this book as well. I feel like I've given a summary for this book because it's been on multiple TBRs. But it's basically about a girl who gets in trouble, so she has to work at her dad's food truck over the summer with her worst enemy, I want to say. But like, no worst enemy, but like a girl she doesn't like. And she's biracial, which is an added thing. And that's all I have. The Painted Art Journal by Jeanne Oliver. This is supposed to be like 24 projects for creating your visual narrative. I got this from Bookish first. I'm not sure that this book is for me. I kind of requested it by accident, but then they sent it to me so I can be like, no. But it seems cool. I probably won't end up doing any of the crafts because first of all, I don't even have a desk right now. Second of all, it's not really my thing. Like I like art, like sometimes I paint occasionally, but again, I don't have a desk. The Ultimate Survival Guide to Being a Girl by Christina DeWitt. Funny story about this book, I thought I was reading it already when I figured out that I was reading a completely different book. Um, so, yeah, but this is basically what the title says, it's supposed to be like guidelines for like how to survive, I guess, like being a teenager, being a girl. Like Like by Jay Kristoff. I don't think this has been getting as much hype as I expected it to. Jay Kristoff was one half of the writing duo that wrote Illuminate, one of my favorite books of all time. So when I saw his next book was coming out and then it was on NetGalley for me to request, I requested it and now we're here. I don't really remember what this is about, pretty sure it's set sometime in the future and I think it has like a Wally vibe where like someone, like a cyborg maybe, finds like a junk like robot maybe that's called a lifelike and like they're supposed to be like discontinued because they're like too real or something so it's like their adventure of that I guess. I know I'm doing a great job with the synopsis. Girls Resist, a guide to activism, leadership, and starting a revolution by Kaylin Rich. I just saw the title and I just requested it. You know, sometimes I am garbage and I request things just because like the title is cool. And like, it seems like this will be a good book for like younger people who like want to get into activism and all that stuff. And the last arc I have on my TBR is Smothered by Autumn Chikilis. So I didn't know that you could get e-arcs unsolicited, but I did get this unsolicited, or I just don't remember requesting it. And so it seems interesting though. I completely forgot what it's about, but I know it's like new adult. Next we're doing my random picks. And so this month I'm doing it a little different because I really do want to focus on the arcs that I have. I did the random number generator and I made sure I picked books that I could listen to on audiobook because none of the arcs that I have are on audio and I will still be listening to audiobooks. So I will have the random picks as options for the audiobooks that I listen to on my commute and like doing whatever I do when I listen to audiobooks. So the random picks that I have for this month are Crash and Burn by Michael Hassan. I couldn't tell you what this is about, I do not know at all. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is one of my favorite authors and he kind of did like a retelling of like the Norse gods where he like rewrote their mythologies. Apparently he like reads the audiobook I think, so it's like him reading a bedtime story. I feel like someone I watched said that and I was like, wow, I want that. So now it's on my TBR for this month. My last random pick is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. This is the third book in the Miss Peregrine Tome for Peculiar Children series. That is such a tongue twister, I don't know why. But um, yeah, it's the third book. The fourth book, or like a sequel book, is coming out, like a sequel to the trilogy is coming out soon. Is it, maybe it's this month, maybe it's next month, I don't know. I have no interest in reading that series, but I would like to finish this one up. Those are the random books that I have. That is my TBR for the month of September. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up in the comments down below. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make more videos where I talk about books. And also hit the notification bell because that is how you get notified every time I post a video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!